These are light elf graves. So many. They killed their own to protect their secrets. That's harsh. It is their way. But perhaps with the Consul's journal, Big Veer can teach them otherwise. Alka! Alka.
really a king. Just called himself one because he killed the previous king. Someone you knew. Aldith. A kind man. A trusting man. He trusted this usurper. This Rolf. No. Aldith trusted me. And, fool that I am, I trusted Rolf. So now you seek revenge. A dangerous path. You're one to talk. I am an authority on the subject. You would do well to listen. Oh, <laughs> 
Pay the king a visit and give him more of the same. We have seen this before. Revenge will not bring you peace. Is it revenge if justice is served? That is a question you must answer for yourself.
berserkers. I am reminded of our search for the Valkyries two winters ago. I can see the similarities, aye. There is one difference. With the Valkyries, you lacked spite. Brother, I appreciate the sentiment, but you don't know the full tale. I know how it feels to be wronged, and how it feels to achieve vengeance. I would hope to spare you the disappointment. Aye. Uh. Seem to have left that behind. Hot damn! Would these make for a painful way to go? Take care now. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Kratos, thank you for coming. Much to discuss. As you ask. They look quite healthy. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. Thorough job, my respect. You sought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh. That was... awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about... What was it? Not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness! I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Savage. What? 
Oh dear, oh dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah! People! Well, there it is. Speak. The tree has become rather... overgrown. And? And, if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Thimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Well, any questions before you travel on? A stag of winter. It looks hungry. Come on already! Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. Oh. That's right. We got more food at home. Come on! I have to say... Quite a nice change of pace, helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it. You had attack, didn't you? Yes. Halfway there by Septimus. I do not like you. I get that a lot. Two down, halfway there.
Just one stag left. Thanks for saving the realms and all that. I'd have gotten to it myself, and with more style. But thanks. Hmm. You're welcome, he means to say. I'm surprised, brother. You'd think a stag would run in terror at the sight of you. Not exactly a calming presence, are you? I am always calm. Ha! <laughs> Good one. Job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoskar when we've got the time. The stags are returned. Your stags and all... are returned. One step closer to perfection. Incredible! The nine realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough, but perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. Until we meet again. You found it. Your hammer. Thanks. Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. <sighs> Never expected to see this thing again. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with this place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. 